So explain to me your living situation. Basically, the morning you woke up and this video went viral, can you can you explain everything from where you were living, what you were going through, to why you picked up that cranberry juice uh, bottle? <laughs> okay, basically before everything, you know, I got I actually got kicked out of my house, or my mom got kicked out of her house that she was living in, and I was staying in a shed in the back of the house. So she ended up moving in with my sister, and then I ended up moving into the riverbank, you know, in a tent. So I was out there. I was I was homeless, you can say, but I had a place to shower. I had a place to eat. I was still working, you know, a nine to five job at the warehouse. I was just camping out is the way I looked at it. So I was out at the river for about two months or something like that and just having fun with life and just continuing doing my videos, you know, building up my following. And like you said, the comments and everything that I got from people from the comment section and everything, people were depressed, people were coming out of depression for three days, crying straight, just seeing my video made them laugh mm -hmm. or reminded them of their loved one from the past that they lost, you know, a video that I did or something. That's what kind of kept me going and everything. And it was just on, honestly just helping me pass the time being out there at the river, you know, all by myself. I had my dog with me and everything and that was it. And when my kids came, they ended up staying with my sister and my mom and everybody. I was out there still. I ended up getting a call for a, uh, wildland camp crew because i used to do wildland firefighting but the camp crew mm -hmm. so i got a call for that i ended up going to a fire and that gives me a pretty good paycheck after two weeks so i got that i think it was three thousand dollar check i used a thousand to get me a mobile home and i ended up moving myself into the walmart parking lot no so way. I, was at, I, I was at the walmart parking lot for about I think it was a month before my brother seen me over there or he, he knew I was over there, but he was just like, you need to come park in front of my house, you know, plug everything in over there. You can stay there and shower and everything there instead of going to the stores or whatever, you know, having to worry about it. Yeah. So yeah, that's where I was at basically in front of my brother's house in a trailer that I got from a wildland camp crew fire. And my daughter decided that she wanted to move in with me this time. So I was like, okay. So she moved in with me with the RV and I'm just like thinking to myself, man, it's getting cold. It's getting, you know, crazy cold out here. I'm going to have to do something to get us into an apartment. And yeah, so I just kept doing my videos, kept doing my videos. I'm headed to work one day. All of a sudden my truck breaks down and then I'm like sitting there and I'm like wondering, okay, I got 10 minutes to get to work. Should I sit here and should I, you know, call my mom, call somebody, come give me a jump, wait for somebody to give me a jump or should I just go? Because it's, where I live, again, like I said, Idaho is a small town. You could basically, I could see where I live, I mean, where I worked, where I was at, you know. So I right. looked over. I had my juice with me from the other night. I had my board with me because I always used to run out of gas or it would break down. And I just take off on the board and just, you know, figure it out later. Right. So I ended up taking off. And yeah, when I was going up the hill on the highway, I was looking over my uh, favorite list and everything like that. And one of my, uh, one of the influencers that helped me, you know, out there, Gary B. He's always out to telling people to, you know, create content, make content, you know, no matter what, if you're doing it, you're not doing it for you. You're doing it for your fans as well. You know, so even if you don't want to post, post because they're waiting for you. You know what I mean? So that's yeah, what I was that's looking at at the time because it felt like 24 hours passed and I was doing three to five videos a day. And this day it felt like I didn't do any videos for the 24 hours. So I was like kind of in a rush to do something. I was looking at my favorite list going down the sounds that you save because on TikTok you can save sounds. Okay. And I think it was only the third song down the list and I just heard dreams come on and I look down the way and I could just see the road curve and then it just hit me in my head. Something spoke to me, you know what I mean, on the inside mm -hmm. and said, do a video, you know, and I was like, man, this is it. So I kind of seen the video before I did it and then I did the video, made it, made it to work with freaking two minutes to spare. So I got my $25 bonus. And yeah, posted it and then just everything went crazy. So how, so you're at work, you posted it. And then did you start to see immediately people were liking it and it was surpassing other videos or did it take a while to hit? No, definitely. Like I've seen videos hit millions on my stuff before because of the account or the following that I had. Mm -hmm. But it took like usually a day or two. And then this video that I did, you know, I, like I said, I used to listen to Gary Vee a lot and he says, post, post, post. So I, I posted it. I didn't like the video. I didn't even like the video when I seen it in the beginning because I was going slow in the beginning. 
So I wasn't going to post it, but I said, okay, go for it. I haven't posted anything. Do it. Went into work, came out. I think it was an hour. I had break and it was at a hundred thousand views. And I was like, whoa, that's kind of crazy, you know? And then I went back into work, came back out two, two hours later, so which is three hours altogether. Then it was like at 400,000 views. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, and I started telling everybody, this might actually hit a million today. And they're like, oh, that'd be cool, you know? And I was like, yeah, it would, it would be cool. That'd be crazy. Went back into work, came back out at third break, I think it was. And then it was already at 2.1 million, I believe. No way. And I was just like, whoa, that's crazy. And then, like <laughs> I said, I didn't know what to think of it or anything like that. So I just went home and just started doing videos again, like natural, you know? And yeah, next day, everybody starts blowing on my phone. My mom's telling me, what are you doing posting your videos on Facebook? And I'm like, mom, I don't post my videos on Facebook. And she's like, well, it's everywhere on Facebook. And I'm just like, I don't know, man. I was like, I don't know what's going on. And yeah, then I just started hearing people, yeah, you need to get out and do some interviews. You need to go do this, you need to go do that. And I was like, what's what and with who? I was like, I got to go to work, dude. You know, I was like, I got a paycheck. I got rent. I got to get my daughter and me into an apartment. And so none of this was on my mind. And then, like I said, Gina reached out. And then, yeah, after I think it was two or three days, I think I finally reached out to her. And then we made we made craziness happen. So explain what that is, because I think a lot of people, you know, they aspire to go viral. And I, I want to kind of get some advice from you for people that are listening about once you found that piece of content that goes viral, how do you monetize that? I mean, I know you were lucky enough to have Gina someone like Gina reach out and say, listen, this is how we, <clears throat> this is how we do it, but explain how it's done. If you were going to counsel someone else. Uh, I'm, I'm still lost at it myself. You know what I mean? Like I said, I, 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 I'm so happy that Gina reached out to me and everything, because like I said, coming into a lot of things in the beginning, there was a lot of monetization that got taken from, you know, ocean spray, uh, TikTok and Fleetwood Mac, you know, there's a, YouTube uh, video out there that's going around whether they have a meeting with all three of them or whatever. And I was never involved in that meeting, you know, and they're all talking about how they're making so much and what they're doing or whatever. And I don't know what it is, but yeah. So there is a lot of money made in the beginning that I didn't see, but right. luckily, you know, they didn't go out and try to sue me and everything, you know, or whatever like that, because sure. I was using, you know, a song, but it was a song on an app, you know what I mean? So it was kind of just doing what everybody else was doing. But yeah, I don't know. It helped their helped the band out so much. It helped out Ocean Spray so much. It helped out TikTok so much. You know what I mean? That they just seen it and ran with it as well. And, and did they that, reach they, out know, to you? What's that? Did they reach out to you? After? I believe they reached out to Gina after I acquired her. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad I did when I did because she did step in and let them know that, you know, that I'm going to be needing a part of something. That there's stuff going out there with my name on it and everything because, you know, with the legal statements. I don't know how it goes, but... I'm pretty sure they had all the rights to everything, but they did give me the rights to use it for the video, you know, and everything right. like that and right. to get it out there. So, yeah, I'm not sure about the whole science of it at all. Well, I but mean, yes, was... but I mean, did did you ever hear that they that they loved it, that they loved the content? Uh, Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Fleetwood Mac reached out. Not Fleetwood Mac. Uh, Mick Fleetwood reached out. You know, he loved the video. He actually reached out. I think it was yesterday or a couple of days ago because we just celebrated four years of the video. Mm -hmm. And he reposted the video again and said how much it was a, a, a cool video, you know, and everything like that. Yeah. And a Ocean Spray, they helped out like no other, you know what I mean? They freaking yeah. hooked me up with uh, two jobs after the fact, and they hooked me up with a truck. So, yeah, you know, the video was awesome. It was crazy. Wait, who, uh, who TikTok, hooked you up with a truck? What's that? Who hooked you up with a truck? Ocean Spray hooked us up with a truck. Holy shit. Yeah, and it was crazy. First time I got a truck, that was at only miles that it took to get from the store to the house. You know what I mean? Right. I right. think it had like three miles on it or four miles on it or something like that. But yeah, that was insane. I mean, that must have like completely changed your life from having to have that skateboard around you just in case you <laughs> ran out of gas or the car broke down. Dramatically. So, and when I was driving to Cali, like everybody in the world seen the video, everybody in the world seen what the truck I was driving. I was on the highway driving to Cali and people were taking pictures from their cars, freaking out, honking, honking. And I'm like, yo, what the hell? You know, it was crazy. Like I said, everywhere, everywhere. It was just insane. So much love and right. craziness. It was so awesome. the, the ability to monetize on something like that, explain how that changed your life. I'm assuming you're no longer living in the trailer behind your no. house. No, yes. You know, and a lot of things that helped me as well is the following that I had. 
a lot of people don't know this, but when I was homeless and everything, there was this guy on Twitter X now or whatever. He put out some things, you know, if you're struggling, you know, put your Twitter out, put your, or put your, you know, cash app out, put your PayPal out here. Somebody will bless you, blah, 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 blah. I did that. And then after the video happened, all of a sudden my phone started going off and I was getting donations left and right from people. Oh, amazing. And so I want to say thank you to everybody that donated. Cause like I said, without them, I wouldn't be able to get a house, you know, and thanks to Gina as well, because with the monetization and everything, like you said, she helped me get a lot of promotional deals, you know, so I can help promote businesses and whatnot. I was giving family and friends money left and right, you know, just to bless people as well. Mm -hmm. Then it got to a point where I seen, I was trying to get a house and everything. And they're like, dude, even with a hundred thousand dollar down payment, you can't even get a house because your credit's messed up. Right. So I'm like thinking, okay, so I need to get into a house quickly. So I need to figure something out because I was homeless. So I saved the money that I had from donations. And then I hear Gina telling me the, you know, the promotions that we were getting in line and the potential funds that we'd be getting from it. So I started saving all my money instead of just giving it to people and, you know, whatever. And TikTok, you know, with the views, they do pay it with the views and everything like that. But it has, it's, they got a lot of stipulations and everything. So it's kind of hard to follow. Mm -hmm. Some videos can go crazy. Some videos can just get 20 cents and stuff like that. But yeah, with everything together, I bought me a house and everything. And it was amazing because after I did it, I had like 5,000 inside the bank account. But I was just so happy that I'll have somewhere to lay my head at the end of the day. Exactly. Some for my kids to lay their head at the end of the day. But yes, and, definitely. And something, and Nathan, something that's yours, some stability where yes, you yes, don't have to worry definitely. about it. And I'm wow. just happy like that. And everybody that ever goes viral and everything, they definitely need to jump onto the monetization thing, like you said, as quickly yeah. as they can and figure it out as quickly as they can because there is a lot of potential. But I also think what you said is very important because a lot of people come into money when they haven't had it like that. And all of a sudden people show up and ask for help. And then because oh, yeah. you want to be generous and you feel blessed, you want to give it away almost just as fast as it's coming in and you forget yeah. that this might be your 15 minutes of fame and you really need to be selfish for a minute and figure yes. out how you're going to set yourself up. So I'm glad that you were able to do that.